In this video, we're going to explore how we can use clip path and with clip path in CSS you can create very nice circles so you can draw them and position them anywhere on the site. And this becomes very interesting because with this you can create a far nicer design in a way that is so different and this is a quite modern look in, and it appeals very well to many people. So let's start and explore this because this becomes very important for many of my future videos because we'll cover this and we'll be using this more and more often. All right, so the first thing that we need to do here is we have your basic HTML template here. You can see we have a fixed color. I already set this as the root color and that's it. We do nothing more. And then what we want to do here first is we want to add up here a new div and I'll call this a div.circle. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a circle with cliff pad or clip pad, sorry, not cliff, clip pad in CSS. All right. So let's save this here and if this would be now an item IABC, there we are. All right, so let's start and explore this because this is quite nice. The first thing what you need to do with clip path is make sure that you have a full width and you also position it as absolute. So what we're going to do here is we say width. Oh, before we do that, make sure we have dot circle as circle class and in here be the width. And this will be 100% and the same with the height. So 100% and then when we say here position absolute and this would mean that it will automatically be fixed on the page depending on where we want to position it. So what we have to do here is we have to put it at the very start of the site basically. It's already in here but we want to make sure because of absolute to ensure that this is here. That's a starting point, and from there on, we can move. The, we will use the clip pad to position it. So we say here left zero, and then top zero. Even if you have this set here, eventually you see once we start using the clip pad, it will be repositioned anywhere you want. So don't worry about this. All right. So we have this now. The only thing what I want to do now is the background color. So we say background, and then I say here variable. Then I will select the variable we have here, so dash dash color one. Color one, there you are. And if we save this now and refresh, you can see our entire page has now been positioned or been colored. All right. So now what we're going to do is here we say clip path. And with this here, we have to put in a shape. We're going to say we want a circle. So with this circle, we can now start to work in percentage or in pixels. I would say just go for percentages. It's the easiest one to do it. So we say 50%. Then we type in at left. So of, or well, we could say let's. We're going to place it on the left. 50% left. And then here, uh, the vertical position. We could say here maybe minus 20%. So once we save this, it will go 50% in the left. Then slightly up, 20% up. So if I refresh here, you can see now our circle has been repositioned. And you can see it is not fully round. You can see it's missing slightly. And the reason why is we did it at minus 20% means that 20% of this circle is going up. And what we are only able to see is 50% of the entire circle. So this would mean that 50% of the circle goes down here from the left, or at least it's visible. 50% and then push, push it to the left and then we want the 20% up. So from that 50% minus 20% and that's it. So if you would put this back on zero, you will see you get a quarter of it. There you are. So now we have a full quarter of the circle. And what we can do here as well, we can do also 50% going down basically. Now we see basically 50% or it's in the center here. You can see because the screen is not big enough to handle 50%, but this is how it works. And this is quite nice because now you have a very nice design that you can, can work with. However, this is absolute positioning. Remember that. So that would mean that it might interfere with anything else that's underneath here. So that would mean you can use here a Z index of, of a certain value. So Z index. Because Z index minus one. To set it as a negative value then whatever comes on top here in any other div will not be interfered or will not be 
uh, overruled by the circle here. So this is very important. So let's put this here. Let's say we want to put it here on the left side. We want to move this here down to the right. Sorry, not on the left side, on the right side. Move it here down to the right. Let's go. And then we say circle 50% and then add right 50%. Save. There we are, but we're not done. Then we can say here 100%. Now we take a quarter of that image, or sorry, of that circle that is here down. And the same as if you want to put it up, do 0%, push it all to the up, push it up, and there you are. So with this, you can start to make very, very fascinating designs. And very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's very nice, and I'm going to use this more and more, so this is a highly recommended skill even to use, not only for, for our next, for the coming projects, but this is a way to use color designs as a background without using images. So I hope this was useful for you, and if you have any comments going to this, put them in the comment section below. I'll make sure I'll get back to you. And if you're interested for other things, just check check out this. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.